time switches divert calls to a particular destination based on the position of the switch. You can set the position manually, like a night switch, or have a set of time conditions which tell the switch to change positions at various times during the week. You can also have overrides on specific dates. Before creating your time switch, ensure that you already have your extensions and any IVR menus, announcements and queues set up first. In our example, we are going to set up a time switch for a business that has opening hours which vary depending on the day of the week and also public holidays. To start off, head to the time switches page and press new. Type the name of your new time switch, i.e. business hours, and set the time zone you want it to operate in. Press save. The time zone feature is useful for customers with many locations across Australia and many time switches operating in the different time zones. Now click on your new switch to configure it. First we need to set each of the possible destinations that your switch can send callers to. So click configure switch positions. In our example we're going to have five positions. Open, closed, lunch mobile, public holiday message, and Christmas message. So click New Position and type the name of our first one. Open. Now choose the actual destination. In our example, we want callers to go to our Welcome IVR menu when the switch is open. Our next position is Closed, and it goes to Voicemail. The third position, Lunch Mobile, goes directly to an external number. We added this number earlier on in the external numbers page and it will appear in the drop-down box. The fourth position is public holiday message. It goes to a sound event which plays a message about being closed on public holidays and then hangs up. The fifth position, Christmas message, goes to a different sound event which just plays a message about the break and then hangs up. Now click close to return to the time switch. By default it's in automatic mode, however since there are no time conditions set, it doesn't know where to send the calls. Start by clicking new. You can enter a name like regular hours. We're going to untick Thursday because we have separate hours for Thursday which we'll configure in a moment. But for the day still ticked, we want to open at 9am, this has already been suggested as the default setting, and we want to close at 5.30pm. Click the plus to add an extra event, and then choose closed from the drop down box, and 17.30 for 5.30pm. Press save. Now we'll add Thursday's hours. Click new again and name it Thursday night. Untick everything except Thursday. We'll still open at 9am on Thursday, but our second event is to close at 9pm, which is 2100. Press save. Click new once more to add Saturday's hours. We'll open at 10am and close at 4pm. Lastly, between Monday and Friday this business has a specific requirement to redirect all calls between 12.30pm and 1.30pm to a mobile. Click New and type Lunch. Note Monday to Friday are automatically ticked. We'd like our first event to be Lunch Mobile at 12.30pm and then Open again at 1.30pm. Now we can see exactly when we open and close all in one simple view. We haven't set anything for Sunday, so the time switch will default to the last event that happened before then. In this case, since there are no events between 4pm Saturday and 9am Monday, the switch would remain closed during this time, unless you manually changed it. You can set up overrides to occur on specific dates or date ranges. Your regular time conditions will not run on any days that have a date override.
To the right of Override Date Conditions, click New. If we want to open at 9.30am on Australia Day and close at 4.30pm, then we would choose Start Date, 26th of January, End Date, 26th of January, Open at 9.30am, and Close at 4.30pm. On Anzac Day, we don't want to open at all. We want our customers to hear the public holiday message all day, so we choose Public Holiday at 000. That means at midnight on the 25th of April, it will change from the closed message on the previous day to the Public Holiday message, and it will stay on that message until the next regular time condition. When you add a date range instead of a single date, those events will occur on each day during the override period. If you need to add more events to your override, just add multiple overrides on the same date. They will all run, however your regular time conditions will not. We'll add the upcoming Christmas break as an example and have our Christmas message play during this period. Here we have gone from the 25th of December to the 3rd of January. Because there is no override on the 4th, regular hours will automatically resume and the switch will open at 9am Monday the 4th. If you need to change the way your calls route right now but don't want to change any of your PBX saved settings, you can click the arrow beside Automatic to change the switch position manually. If you choose Manual Override, then the switch will stay that way until you change it back to Automatic. The icon changes to show that the switch is currently in a Manual Override state. We don't recommend using Manual Override unless the change is semi-permanent because it won't change back to Automatic by itself. Instead, we recommend a Timed Override. This is useful if you want to open early or close early. Just click the arrow and choose Timed Override. You can then switch it open until a specific future time when it will return to automatic and run any regular time conditions and overrides that apply. If you want to cancel a manual or timed override, just click the arrow and change it back to automatic. And last of all, don't forget to route the calls to your time switch. Click the PBX Routes page and then change the Route 2 drop down to your time switch. Now the phone calls to this DID are going to the time switch and will be routed accordingly.